Have I ever showed you the urinals at truck stops or uh, places in Thailand? They're very airy. Very airy. The only thing about Visa Runs, it's kind of a bummer, is it's at night and I can't really film that much at night. So I'm getting ready to head out to go meet the van, the minibus, and um, I'll film as much as I can and we'll just go from there, all right? Here we go to Malaysia. Mm. So it's 10 o'clock at night and we're waiting for the van to pick us up at the Big C in Kamala to take us overnight to uh, the border of Malaysia. There's a full moon. I'm sure there's not going to be any issues. <laughs> totally fine. It is 600 bucks. <clears throat> All right, first stop, uh, bathroom. They're very airy. Got the application for visa to get into Penang. They staple the money to it because we've already paid for the service. And so that's really good hand holding. Like it so far. And there's a Burger King. I mean, come on. That's, that's not too bad. 42 minutes into the trip. I'll let you know what happens next. We're all just waiting. Figure out what we're doing next. One thing I have learned about those applications is don't fold them up. Do not do that. They don't like it when you fold them. Like I said, everything is going smooth as silk up until the point where we realized that one of the passengers on a visa run didn't bring her visa. Here's a helpful tip from Thailand Rob. If you're going to immigration or you're going on a visa run, pack your visa. Just helps. helps. So anyway, that's okay. Now we have downtime for maybe what, an hour or something like that. But look at the positive side. Now I have more than enough time to fill out my visa application. <laughs> That's great. All right, three hours in. Don't even know where we are, but we did stop. She thought I was losing my mind. 6 a.m. at the border in Malaysia. Now I know the question you're asking yourself, is he on the inside or is he on the outside? We got here, what, 10 and a half hours with heavy traffic for the morning traffic. But we're here, we just put the, we just took the uh, passports in with all the documents. And now we're gonna head to our hotel where thank goodness we're gonna get some breakfast. I want you to look at the license plates around here. I think the license plates in Malaysia are a lot cooler. Just the black and white, black and white's cool. Black and white's cool. The temperature's not that bad, but the sun's right. Here, literally right there oh my god closer to the Sun every day I am exhausted from riding in a minivan I don't even know where I'm going so I just get into the room <clears throat> the room that's provided for us by the by the whole package deal that we got I'm just gonna say this real quickly because it is the truth. This is not the worst room I've ever been in, but it is absolutely not the best room I've ever been in. We were passing some really luxury hotels on the way here and I was going, it could be good. But when you get in here, it's just a small little tiny room. It's not a whole lot to see in here. <laughs> and again, we're back with the could use some paint theme or maybe could use some new linens theme. It's pretty disgusting to be quite honest. Uh, the bathroom is not too shabby. Really, it's, it's really not too shabby. All right, the bum gun style in this place is a whole different thing. You've got to use two hands to do this. I mean, you have to hold this, aim it, and then turn it on. So you have to use both hands, which is... Whew. And it does have a great view. I mean... So, yeah. All right, comes with two complimentary breakfast, a complimentary dinner, a complimentary coffee or tea. No, I, I, 
I can survive. It's better than the 300 baht room that I had. You guys remember that one? I, I, somewhere right there. All right, Malaysia. It's got a whole different look to it. With the sun. Uh, what can I show you? All right. All the buildings that I've seen here, they're very close, back to us, side by side. Now, the sewer system is very open and kind of ominous. Do you see the buildings? Well, not that building, but... Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. I thought it would be a whole lot hotter here. I mean, it's hot, but it's it's not like too much. Superstars. These are the taxi cabs here. Go, 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 go. So I've just been walking around a little bit. Find some internet. The hotel has internet, but it's a little bit slow. My room's at one far end. Why am I always stuck with slow internet? I really should get on the sidewalk. All right, I went too far. I passed my hotel entrance. I'm new here. And there's the world's compact hotel just in case you were looking for it. They like to paint over here. Recognize that guy? So... One thing I like about it over here, everything is in English. I mean, you can read everything. Uh, if you're English speaking, you can read everything. This visa run was com completely different than the one I did when I went to Lao. The one I did when I went to Lao was, uh, there were some good things about the one in Lao and there's some good things about the one here. The one off the top of my head was, the one in Lao, when we got across the border, it took a long time for us to give the passports to get our visas at the uh, immigration office. Here, it was very, very quick. We, we got there and they, processed within, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. It was really nice. The one thing that's completely different when we went to Lao from Bangkok, the road, we were going up north. It was straight, long, and country roads. And, I mean, not, not too scary to be completely honest with you. But, oh my gosh, the roads from Phuket to Malaysia. Oh my gosh, I have to give them credit. I was looking the whole time there. It is nothing but left and right zigzags, like you're going through a mountain the whole time. And you do go through a mountain, and it's just left, right, left, right. And these mini minivan bus drivers, they go as fast as they can. I really don't know how fast they were going. I can tell you this. No one passed our minivan, no one passed our driver the whole night. He was going that fast. The only thing that passed him was the International Space Station. And that's because it's traveling at 17,000 miles an hour. Thailand roads. Thailand roads are built, I mean, pretty well. They're pretty solid roads. It's, it's not like they're bad at all. They, in the U.S., when they do construction, you know, sometimes they do that little detour route and they leave one lane open so everybody can kind of mingle that. And no, not in Thailand. No, in Thailand, they rip the whole road up for four kilometers and you just wing it. It's just slow down and drive on dirt. Mm. Once I got to Malaysia, what I noticed, the first thing I noticed was how the roads really, really, really reflected uh, the United States roads. I mean, the, the, the green signage, the uh, on-ramps, the off-ramps, the way the it was almost identical and the landscaping like look where I'm sitting right now I mean I don't there's not a lot of landscaping like this in Thailand I haven't seen a lot of landscaping in Thailand this 
really reminded me of back in the uh, back in the states. Malaysia has a definite industrial side. I mean, there's a lot of side. We passed. I passed a uh, big chemical company. And of course, it's a chemical company. They had signs outside going "Earth friendly." Yeah. It's dinner time now. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the hotel, grab a bite to eat. This is nothing like when I went to Laos, and it was just you were isolated, pretty much at one little resort with a lot of people. Uh, this place is not a whole lot of people that came. I think I, with the group we were with, it was 20. And I think when I was in Laos, it was probably, I mean, 200. So it's 2.30 in the morning in my lovely hotel, and uh, I can't sleep. Uh, the whole trip's got me, my sleep messed up. What I woke up and I was thinking about was I had a couple of questions that were the same uh, about this visa run and they were saying, would you explain what a visa run is? It's quite simple. What a visa run is, is you get, you have your passport, you come to Thailand, you get it stamped for so many days. At the end of that, you have to leave. Whether you got an extension or not, when your time is up, you got to go. Whether you go back home or whether you just take a small vacation over to Malaysia, Laos, Vietnam, um, Cambodia, but you have to leave and then once you've left, you can come back and get a stamp and get more time to stay in Thailand. That, in a nutshell, is a visa run. I hear footsteps. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Um.